Hello, I am hopping on with a super fun Timu haul video. Um, I have a bunch of stuff that is not sponsored to share with you guys. Um, but before I do that, I do want to share this die, which I did pick up in a sponsored haul in my previous video. And I put it together and oh my gosh, you guys, look how stinking cute this die is put together. Um, I did three different ones. Look how cute. Um, I've used the Echo Park Summer Dreams collection, which is turning out to be like maybe my all-time favorite summer collection. And I think these just turned out so cute and they were so super quick and easy to put together. So it's actually two different die sets. I've just packaged mine up here together um, because I think I will always use them together, but I'll put the links to these in the description box below. And as always, there will be a coupon code there and a link to become an influencer in case you're interested in that and all of that good stuff. So let me get this out of the package. Should have already done this. Um, so there are two different sets. So one set comes with this umbrella and the hat and the flip flops. And so all of those pieces go together in that set. And then in the other set, you get the towel, the swimsuit, the glasses, the hair, and then the girl. Okay. And so these are two different sets, but I mixed my sets together. I did not use the umbrella. Um, the umbrella is pretty large, so it kind of depends on what project you're using, but I will tell you these little hats and flip-flops are a must that come in that set. So look how cute that is with her laying on her little towel with her hat and her little flip-flops next to her. So yeah, super easy to put together because really all you're doing is, you know, cutting out your towel piece and then you cut out your girl and then you layer the hair on top of her and then you layer on the swimsuit and then you can do the glasses or you can do it without the glasses. There, there are eyes cut into the dye piece so you don't have to put the glasses on. You can leave them off if you want. Um, but because I'm doing summer theme, obviously, I decided I would wanted the glasses. So I went ahead and put those on there. And then the hat was super easy to put together as well. You just cut it out and then you put this ribbon piece on and then you put this piece on top of that. And then the flip-flops, you just put the little... Um, top parts of the flip-flops there. So really quick and easy die sets that look amazing when you are finished because I just think these are the cutest thing ever. I've got a few summer swaps coming up and I'm probably going to use these in both. Of, well, actually I have two summer swaps coming up. I'm going to use these in both of my swaps, I think. So yeah, look how cute. I just can't even. They're just so stinking cute. Okay, so like I said, I'll put the link in the description box below if you want to check those out. Okay, I did just realize that I forgot to look up the prices. So I'm going to put the links to everything in the description box below. This stuff that I bought here starting now was not sponsored. I did pay for these things with my own money, but I will hunt up the links and put them in the description box in case you're interested. Um... I also did want to mention that this die set um, is an original design that I think you can only find on Timu or AliExpress. Um, this particular company, I've never seen any of their designs anywhere else. So I believe they have their own designer who creates this. So just in case you're wondering, uh, as far as I know, to my knowledge. Okay, so um, let me just dive in and share with you guys what I picked up. Um, I've got a few fun things here and some uh, things that are different for me, things I don't normally pick up. So the first thing I have are these bows. And I saw someone's video, and you guys know I'm terrible about this. I see people's YouTube videos, and then I can't remember whose video it was um, that gave me the idea. So I apologize, but shout out to whoever it was. Um, somebody hauled these uh, bows with the elastic cords on them, okay? And of course they're hair bows um, and they're very cute and they're a pretty good deal. 
and um, but I don't need the elastic part, right? I just want to get the bow and glue it onto my project. So this person, what they were showing was that if you get the ones with the elastic, you can easily snip it off of the sides and then you just glue the bow onto your project, right? So it's actually cheaper to buy them this way than it is without the elastic. Or if you use your heat tool, you can heat this up and heat up the hot glue underneath there. And then once you snip it, you can actually slide this out easily. So I'm gonna try that at the end of the video and we're gonna do a little trial and error <laughs> and see how this works. We're gonna do a little experiment, okay? so. I picked up this pack of bows. It comes with all these different colors, um, and you get a whole bunch in here. You get, I have no idea how many pieces are in here, but there's a lot. I don't remember, and it doesn't say, but there's a lot on here. And I'll put the um, link in the description below so that you can check it out in the link. Okay, so I grabbed these with the elastics, and then same video inspired me to try these ones and these are the kind with the alligator clip on the back so similar situation um you know super cute bows right like these are adorable i would love to glue these onto my project but i don't need the alligator clip on the back so again she said that if you just use your heat tool you can heat this up back here and then this little uh alligator clip will easily pull out and then if you need to reseal it on the back you can okay now that may seem like a lot of work but if you're like me I really hate tying bows in fact I did tie some the other day and they turned out cute but man that was a lot of work um so I personally would rather do this and get the kinds of bows that I want um so you guys know I haul bows all the time but it's really hard to find them like this where they don't have anything on the back so I may have to, you know, resort to this and do a little work. So we're going to try it out together and see how much work it is at the end of the video. So if you're curious about that, be sure to stick around. Okay, also picked up this giraffe die. I thought this was really fun um, and I thought it would be great for carousel. So and sweet story. Um, it doesn't look like it's a ton of pieces. It looks like you have one background piece and then you have two layering pieces and then there's a small one and the same thing you have a background piece and then two layering pieces and I thought it'd be really fun to use this and try to make like a pink giraffe or different colors um, for a really whimsical feel so I'm going to try that out um, I think it's really cute so you may see this on some future projects coming up okay I picked up this hairbrush this is going to seem really random uh, this is not a crafty item. I'm going to actually use this on my hair. Um, but I heard that these are really good at getting tangles out. And I have very long hair that gets easily tangled. So I'm going to try this particular type of brush. It was very inexpensive. And so I thought, eh, I'll add it to my cart and see how I like it. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed one of these loofahs. Um, because they're very similar to the ones at Dollar Tree. And... They're a lot cheaper than the Dollar Tree ones. This one was like 60 something cents, I think. Um, but at my Dollar Tree, they didn't have the pink. All they had was the blue. So I thought, oh, I'll just order this one off of Timu and then I'll trim. In case you don't know, people are taking the pom-pom trim off of these um, because you get a lot of pom-pom trim. But I will tell you, this has a lot less pom-pom trim than the ones at Dollar Tree. So um, this is fine. I'm gonna use it. I'll take the pom-pom trim off and you know, sew it onto my projects or glue it down. Um, but you do get a better deal with the Dollar Tree one because it is a lot more trim than what you're getting here. Okay. But it also costs more. So there is that. Okay. But that is there. And it is just a cute little loofah. Okay. I found some of these, um, let's see, what are these little stagecoach charms? And if you remember, I had hauled some of these, from an Instagram seller in the bright pink, but I found these on Timu and they are in the light pink. So I grabbed one set of those. You get five in the pack. They're super cute. I'm gonna use them with carousel. That's my plan. They're very pretty, very cute. Um, they would be cute for little princess themed projects. And then they also had them in the blue. So I grabbed um, one pack of the blue as well just to have a variety. 
and it's really pretty. It's like a teal, a teal blue. Really, really cute. So yeah, loving that. Okay, so there is that. And then um, I found these beads. I thought these are really fun and whimsical. And these are those, I think they're called beach ball beads. But these are a little different because they have, I don't even know how to describe it, sort of like a almost gold. Um, it's like an iridescent, but with a gold hue on the inside. So um, it's like a, it almost looks like a pearlized milky substance inside the bead. So yeah, really pretty, unusual. Again, I think these will go great with carousel. So I grabbed those. You get a whole bunch in the pack. I'm not sure how many are in here, but it's a lot. And um, they're very cute. So, and like I said, unusual, not something I have in my stash. Okay, I picked these up. Uh, I'll go ahead and show them, but I think I also ordered them in a sponsored haul that's coming up soon that I should be getting in the mail. Um, and these are these little ice cream cone paper clips. And I joined that ice cream swap. So I grabbed some of these to just put on the little projects. They're great for bag toppers, holding bag toppers together. I like to use paper clips on there. And then of course they're great for, um, you know, junk journals and things like that too. Um, but yeah, I thought those were just cute. So I went ahead and picked those up and they're kind of a purpley pink, like a fuchsia kind of, I think they're supposed to be bright pink, but they're really more fuchsia. Okay. I found some of this trim. I had hauled some of this from the magical mixery and I found some on Timu as well in different colors than what I had hauled from her. And also you get a ton of it. Um, this is five yards and it was pretty inexpensive. And I'm going to use this uh, in my carousel project that I'm working on. So um, it's a ruffle trim, a really cute ruffle trim with gold, um, like, uh, what is this called? Like gilded uh, edge, I guess. But yeah, like an organza, pink organza with like a gold trim. So yeah, really pretty. And you get five yards. So that's awesome. I got two packs of this so that I have plenty to use and to share. Okay, along the same uh, carousel lines, I found these gift bags and I thought these were very fun and very carousel. Um, they come in all different colors, but I picked the pink and I think there are 10 bags in each one and it has like a gold frame around the edge and they're just like little party sacks. Um, and then I got the black and white. So yeah, I thought those were super cute and would be fun to package up some goodies in. Okay, as I'm pulling stuff out of this bag, I just realized how big this haul is. <laughs> you might want to pause the video and get a drink. Um, okay, so I also picked up this trim in the black. So it's black organza with the gold. I thought this would be good for Halloween, so I grabbed that. Um, I found these teeny tiny little bows. Look how cute these are. These are, it says black and white, but honestly, they're kind of a grayish black. They're like a muted black and white, um, but they're so stinking cute. They have other colors too, but they're on pre-order and I don't really want to wait around for a pre-order. So I haven't ordered them yet, um, but they have like pink and blue. They're really cute. So I want to grab some more of those. They're just really fun. I found these bows, which... Um, these are like pink with silver, um, silver edging and look how sparkly they are. Let's see. There we go. Oh, no, it's thinking really hard. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get there. Hang in there with me. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is, um, this is what the bows look like. And um, they're like a grow gain, but sort of a sheer grow gain with silver edging. And so I got these ones. And then I got these in a brighter pink. And they're, they're the same, but they're just two different shades of pink. And I think there are 50 in each one, if I remember correctly. I picked up this ribbon. This is like a pretty pink pastel ribbon with gold edging 
and it's just like a thinner ribbon. I thought this would be pretty to make some bows out of. Again, thinking of carousel, but also this would look pretty with lots of Maggie Helms collections. And you get a whole bunch in here. I don't know. I don't know how many yards, but look, you can see there's a bunch. A spool. I picked up this uh, red pom-pom trim. You guys know, once you start looking at trims, then like a whole bunch of stuff pops up. Um, but I like this because of how cute the little pom-pom is. It's um, it's not quite a pom-pom. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a flat um, decorative edging on there. But yeah, it's really cute. So yeah, and you get a decent amount. I don't know. I think this is like three yards maybe. Three to five probably, somewhere around there. Okay. Um, run, don't walk. To get these oh my gosh you guys these are so pretty as soon as I received these in the mail I ordered like three more packs um, they are these really pretty swan charms um, and these have um, they're not rhinestones but they look like rhinestones they're plastic and they're painted to look like they have rhinestones glued on them but they don't actually there's just all one piece um, but they're so pretty and they are gold on the back and they are charms and they are beautiful so they have white and then they have um, black with silver and I do have that somewhere in this haul but I'm not sure where so I'll show those as soon as I find them so those are really pretty I found this birdcage die I thought this was super fun. It has all these different cages with the birds that go in them. So I picked that up. I picked up this really fun ice cream patch. Uh, this is different than the one I got in my sponsored haul. So I showed this one in my sponsored haul. And then here's this one. So this one's like more purple type colors. Um, and it's also smaller, a little bit smaller. Just for comparison. Okay, and then I got some gold trims. Uh, again, thinking of carousel, but um, that's what I'm working with right now. So that's what's been on my brain. Um, but look how pretty this is. I think this one is sold out. If it's back in stock, I'll obviously post a link. But I think last time I checked, it was sold out. But look how pretty. Uh, I love it so much. You get a whole bunch here. So stinking cute. Um, it's going to look perfect with carousel okay and then I also grabbed this trim also really pretty I think I've actually grabbed this before but I don't know where I put it and I need some for my swap so look how pretty this is so yeah really pretty and you get a whole bunch in here I think you get three to five yards something like that mm, it doesn't say oh yeah five yards so there you go. Or five meters, I should say, which is close to five yards. Um, I found these really fun peacock pins. And you guys know I love to buy novelty pins and gift them in my swaps and to my son's teachers because I just think they're fun. Um, and look how cute these are. These are little peacocks. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, which collection they'll go with, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just had to get them. You get four in the pack. They're all a little bit different. Obviously, this turquoise one is my favorite. The pink one is also really cute. They're all adorable, but yeah, very fun little pins. <laughs> they crack me up. So really cute. So I grabbed those. Um, I also picked up these beads really pretty. These are a little bit different than the ones I got in the past. These are like a baby blue with pink and then hot pink dots. And they're really pretty. These are glass beads. Okay, a few more things. I also found these like iridescent pink uh, bows. These do not have the silver on the sides. They're just pink iridescent and they're really pretty. And I think you get 30 in here, if I remember right. So really pretty. Pink bows. Okay, I found, oh, here's these black swans. And these are black and silver. They do not have black and gold. So 
So it's black and silver or pink and gold. Those are your choices. And they're silver on the back and black on the front. So pretty. I love these so much. Okay, so there are those. I got this um, blue ruffle trim to go with Sweet Story. Sweet Story has this fun royal blue color in it, so I picked that up uh, to go with that collection. I also picked up some of this white trim with the gold on the outside. And then um, I've got these little cheetah earrings. And again, just like the previous earrings I picked up, I'm thinking I'm just going to take off this part here and use it as a dangle. I've got a couple of collections that have these pink cheetahs with the flowers in their hair. Um, and I thought that would be really cute. And then I also picked up another set, which is a little bit different. Um, and this is the, what this one looks like. So this one doesn't have the flowers. So you can kind of compare the two different ones. Okay, so that's my haul. So stick around if you want to see me try to take apart these bows. Okay, you guys, this works. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just did one off camera to make sure um, so I could work out any kinks. Um, you work perfect. Okay, so what you're going to do is take, I'm going to start with this one. You're going to take your bow with the clip on the back. Now be careful because, you know, you're putting hot air on here and this thing is metal. So don't, you know, be careful. Okay, so um, I'm going to just turn this on and let it heat this up. Okay, and you don't have to do it for very long. And then you just pull this out. Look at this, like butter, it comes out of there. And then you just take your fingers and smush it back down and let the glue dry back again or like cool off. How easy is that? This is like a total game changer. This is the back, look, it looks great. And then you can just glue it down on your project and now you have these bows that are so cute. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a whole lot easier and cheaper. It's a lot cheaper to buy them this way than it is to buy them in a giant bag off of Amazon where there are no clips on the back. Okay, so let's try the um, these ones. This is the one with the um, elastic. Okay, so I'm going to snip it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And then I'm going to heat it up and see if I can just pull this out. I haven't tried this one yet, so we'll see together. <gasps> Look! Oh my god, that was so easy. You guys, I'm not joking. This is a game changer. <sighs> okay, be prepared. I'm going to have cute bows on all of my projects from here on out. Um, I'm so excited about this. I'm maybe more excited than I should be, but look how fun and how easy was that to just take that off of there. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. So cute. Okay. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I love to see what you guys have to say. If you are having trouble with any of the links, let me know. And I think that's it. Um, Yep. I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.